Hey everybody, it's Patrick Bradshaw with Bradshaw Oxygen. Today we're going to do sieve bed replacements. So if you guys take your sieve beds off, you send them to me, I repack them with brand new material. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the four screws at the bottom. I already did that in preparation for the video. After you get those four screws off, you're simply going to take the case off and Again, I was already ready for the video, so I did take one bed off, but these are your sieve beds. The easiest way to replace them, you're going to need a pair of wire snippers, and you're going to go ahead and snip those zip ties. There are four total. Next, what I like to use is a pair of needle nose pliers. And I like to get them on those tubes, wiggle it back and forth to loosen it up. Because you want to be careful not to break those little prongs on there. Next, I'll grab them, pull them off. <clears throat> You're going to see a little hose clamp right there going around the whole bed. Take a flathead screwdriver, loosen that up. In order to take this thing off, just simply slide it up. And when you see your beds, the easiest way to do this is to just spin them off like I'm doing here. When you take these off, you pack them up, use bubble wrap, protect them. Mainly the top is what you want to protect so these little prongs don't snap off. They're just made of plastic. When you ship those in and I ship you back the new ones, you're going to remove the two plugs and that third plug down here at the bottom. Now this is really important. What you want to hear is a hissing noise, a pss. That's how you know these beds were packed properly. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's hissing and that's what you want. Next, remove that little red plug. Another thing about me, is I've noticed a lot of the larger repair centers, I'm talking about the giants of the industry, they have been using cooked sieve. And what that means is they will take the material, dump it out, and they basically bake out the, the moisture in the sieve material, and then they put it back in there. Here at Bradshaw Oxygen, we don't do that. We use brand new material. And whenever you take these plugs off, you want to get these things on as quickly as you can. I do use an oxygen safe thread tape. And the same way you took them off, you're going to screw these things back on just by simply spinning them around like this. You don't want to get crazy tight, just nice and snug. Line that back up. Take that big hose clamp. You want to do this first before you connect everything. That way it can slide down there. You will see a little hook in the back. Take your flathead screwdriver. Screw that thing down nice and tight. Next, you're basically going to hook everything back up the same way you had it. What I do like to do is I like to snip them back a little bit. Cut maybe a quarter of an inch off. That way, when you put it back on, it's nice and snug and tight. The PE valve will go on the bottom. The hoses running from your check valve will go at the top. Next, I'll take my zip ties. You want to use at least 75 pound test. And these things are pretty cool. They're zip tie guns. You can tighten it down and snip it at the same time. Cool. 
and I started noticing that cooked sieve material about two years ago. And I did try a barrel of it, but I didn't like it because it doesn't last as long and that's not fair to the customer, especially if you're an artist or you're a patient on oxygen 24 seven, you wanna have the highest purity you can for as long as you can for years to come. And of course the newer machines have oxygen sensors inside. So once that purity drops below, I believe it's 89%, you'll start to see a yellow light staying on and that's how you know it's about time to replace those sieve beds also you flame workers out there you guys can tell right away if your flames acting up if you're not having good oxygen purity so we got our zip ties back on we'll pretend that we already tightened down this hose clamp and when you go to fire everything back up take some soapy water spray your zip ties and also it's good to spray right along these edges just to make sure I did my job right and I got those rings in there properly. You want to make sure you got no leaks. Also, spray down here at the bottom where we threaded it back on. You want to look for any bubbles. So other than that, sieve beds is another thing that's pretty easy and self-explanatory to pop on and off. So if you guys have any questions, we do repack all makes and models of the bed as long as it's got that removable puck same thing with everflows we do those as well so always call me ask me pricing um, where to ship it to that kind of a thing my phone number is 828-380-6287 thank you for watching this video